Hi everyone. I have few questions for you. Do you listen to radio? Do you listen to FM? Do you listen to English conversations used on FM shows? If yes, then FM radio stations can become a powerful tool for you to learn English. Dear friends, in today's video I'll focus how listening English FM radio can help you improve your English speaking skills. The first mantra to develop your English speaking skills through FM radio channel is here listen radio every day you may be a beginner or you want to improve your existing English speaking skills listen to FM daily consistently in the beginning you start with 5 minutes as your habit of listening to FM radio develops slowly increase your daily time Everyone loves music which many English radio stations play but if you really want to fine tune your English listening skills you should listen to talk shows on radio you can still enjoy your music but you will learn English intonation and listening much better through the natural conversation on radio talk shows let's play one of the talk shows here Hello and welcome to Gardener's Question Time. As you know, we are famous for visiting local halls, theatres and gardening clubs, bringing our flying horticultural circus to the furthest reaches of the UK. On the 8th of June 1968, Gardener's Question Time recorded its 818th episode in Ludlow in Shropshire as guests of the Ludlow Horticultural Society. The programme came to the town to celebrate that year's Ludlow Festival, and the panel consisted of GQT legends Fred Lodes, Bill Sarbutz, Alan Gemmell, and Chair Franklin Engelman. Well, it's been a while, Ludlow, but 54 years later, we're back to check in with you all. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. Uh, Moor Park School is our venue today, and the panel is just as legendary as it was back then. Representing Stamford, it's designer Bunny Guinness. From London via Yorkshire, it's RHS Wisley's curator Matthew Pottage. And hailing from Leicester via Hertfordshire, it's the Plantsman's Plantsman, Matt Biggs. Back in Ludlow after more than half a century, please welcome your Gardener's Question Time panel. <laughs> Dear friends, don't limit to one radio station. Try out few different online English radio stations until you find the ones that you like learning the best. Avoid any English radio station with such kind of RJs who are really loud and make jokes all the time. You should find a radio station that speaks about news, weather report or other advices on health and the other programs. That way you will listen quality English plus information so you be selective. You can try on radiosindia.com, BBC Learning English Radio and so on. Listening to interviews on FM channels will increase your understanding because they generally follow an easy question and answer pattern. You can learn and practice intonation when asking questions and also how people respond naturally to those questions in English. The BBC has a list of interviews you can try. By these interviews, you will learn fillers like, let me see, give me a second. Mm, that's a good question. Using these fillers will make you sound more like a native English speaker. Do you keep hearing the same words over and over again while listening to radio? If yes, it means these are highly frequency words that relate to the topic. Better to note down. This way you can enhance your English vocabulary. You will have more words to express. Listen for patterns. Try to listen the different programs on English radio stations like Weather Report, Horoscope, etc. When you listen the weather reports, you will listen quite similar vocabulary. That's an easy way to remember common words. Like this, you can be selective for different programs about health, 
sports cricket commentary etc dear friends this is how english radio fm stations will help you to improve your english speaking skills so keep listening english fm radio stations dear friends in this video i am going to talk about the top 5 online international radio channels which will definitely help you to talk in english fluently and confidently so here we go the very first radio station is tunein.com this radio station is designed for english learners the speakers they use here simple english vocabulary they read at a very slow pace to help learners or listeners focus and understand what is being said they have a very special program called as it is that is for 30 minutes long announcers use words and phrases specially written for people who are learning english they also explain words and language rules while reporting stories and information from around the world another significant online radio station is abc radio australia this is a national australian radio station which provide information about books and the arts which covers the topics like performance writing visual arts music and a wide variety of interviews human interest stories and the news from the world of arts announcers speak at a very normal pace one of the nice things about this radio station is that you can also read a transcript while listening or download the program so that you can listen to it at your own convenience the next important radio station is bbc radio which provides many programs and covers just about every topic imaginable they offer special programs for adults that include 6 minute grammar and the english we speak podcast include practical phrases and information about life in the uk this is a very well known platform to improve your english speaking skills another significant radio station is voice of america which offers an english course that is divided into 52 lessons that follow the lives of young americans the course includes weekly videos for listening practice speaking practice and pronunciation the new thing about voa's english course is that it includes worksheets to practice writing lesson plans and even an assessment in addition to learn english course one can listen to a wide variety of english language programs covering all types of news from local and international to arts sports and more you can also listen to radio shows and download them and can improve your english speaking skills the fifth important radio station is new york times talk radio which offers over 5000 stations broadcasting in english this site offers a more personal approach featuring discussions and interviews with many prominent people including politicians media personalities and other public figures the benefit of listening to this radio station is that the style of discussion is more informal it also features the common english phrases and idioms which can be used in daily interactions dear friends these radio stations are free on internet you can listen to them anytime and enhance your english speaking skills thanks for watching my video happy learning